Hello. Sorry, I was just reaching over to get this really. This is my representation of my new tattoo. There it is, which you'll see. Well, you see the tattoo on my head whenever you want, but um, yeah, you'll see this on eBay at some stage in the next week or so. Um, this was drawn, a lot of this was drawn. This is from my other diagrams and my stuff that I was sending the tattooist, etc. Um, so this was drawn quite some time ago. Bloody hell. That road is 15 miles an hour and that motorbike was doing at least 60, I reckon. Crazy. Children, dogs, horses. Um, yeah, so I have finished it off with um, with the dot work, really, that, I mean, if you have a look, well, wherever. There's lots of tiny little dots in there, which is just a kind of a hint and a representation towards um, Ishiha, obviously, because I needed several different things in there. And look at the size of this. This is a pheasant's feather given to me by glorious Gary from Escaping the Matrix for good. Huge thing. Beautiful, thank you Gary. I love it. Okay, this little video is, um, let's just ask a simple question really. And the question is, what is your life built around? answer that can't you if you wanted to what is your life built around now is it built around money and work and uh, a nice car television um, a watch uh, iPad iPod I don't know Xbox I'm just trying to think of modern-ish things um, funny enough, somebody might watch this video in 50 years time and think, wow, how old fashioned Xbox and television and, you know. Um, so yeah, what is your life built around? Is it built around all of those things, gathering stuff and then the stuff traps you so you have to go to work because stuff owns you, you don't own the stuff. So you work long hours, you haven't got any time really for yourself. So this enforced prison that you put yourself into, is it, is that it? Is that what you build your life around? Trapping yourself? Or do you build yourself, you know, your, your life, do you build it around, I don't know, your, your family, your children, uh, hobbies or interests? Or do you build your life around happiness, peace, living life on your own terms? doing what's right for you inside your heart and soul living your life rather than existing owning your life rather than giving it away to your boss your employer the tax man the banks the government the mortgage company you know and it's, it's just worth asking that question really isn't it you know who does your life belong to really it often doesn't belong to you if you get into the world of your work and mortgage and uh, the nice car. And then the other question then, because it answers, it opens lots of questions. And it's, who are you doing all this for? Are you doing this to impress somebody? Because you can only ever impress yourself in life, you know. Nobody else cares. No one. They're far too busy, probably doing the same or similar, living similar lives. Far too busy to be impressed. You can only ever impress yourself. And that's the person that you should be impressing, really. So we often trap ourselves, don't we, with, um, you know, a nice house and nice furniture and a nice car and we're saving for a holiday and we've got this and we've got that. But it does come at a price, at a, a massive, massive price, you know. A very quick story, I hope he doesn't mind me telling you, but my, my nephew, one of my nephews, um, has kind of given his life away to, to money 
and, and to his boss and mortgage and wanting all the nice things and what have you. So he has to work so much, he hasn't even got time to clean his own car. So he went to a little car cleaning place and uh, he loves his car because obviously that's the conditioning that, you know, the place where he's at. Obviously the work comes with the money, comes with the car, comes with the house, comes with the television, comes with all the expensive toys and rubbish that nobody needs. Um, so he took his car to a little cleaning place and they scratched it. Yeah, they used like a dirty old rag or sponge and, and did swirls all over it because he doesn't have time to do what he should be doing. If he loves his car, then he should love his car and not let anybody clean his car. But he doesn't have time, you know. And I feel sorry for him and I understand that, you know, but of course that's the life he's created, so that's fine. Um, but that's, you know, a number of questions there, isn't there, really? You know, how do you really define your, your life? I define my life. And this, again, this is not patronising or condescending. I often say that in the videos. And it's only ever right for me before the trolls start. And you start if you want. For me, the most important things in my life are happiness and health. And peace. And freedom. And, you know, working less and living more. You know, living, not existing. And that gives me time, you know, to to do my art, which I love, spend time with my dog, which I love, and to read, which I love, and to meditate, which I love, and to write, which I love, and to spend time with nice people, which I love. So I do a lot in my life that I love. And I bimble in nature, which I love. And I take photographs, which I love. There's not a lot I do in my life that I don't love. There's downsides to my life because you've got to pay the price. So I don't have much money. So I would have more money if I had an employer. But then an employer, you end up buying a house, and then you end up buying a car, then you buy the sofa, then you buy all the trappings, and then they own you, and you sit in your little prison wishing that you weren't there. So it's a funny situation, isn't it? Because you can have a bit of the both, really. Yeah, you can have um, me sort of wishing I had a little bit more money. You can have people wishing, you know, people with money wishing that they had a little bit more time and freedom and a bit of peace in their life, a bit of space. Work less, live more. That is my kind of philosophy. Work less, live more. There is no law to say that you must work 40 hours a week or more. You know, it's self-imposed. If you're working for 40 hours or more, then that's because of the entrapment that you've put yourself into. You know, you've done that to yourself. And again, it is worth looking, I've often said this in the video, it is worth looking at little changes that you could possibly make in your life, you know. So to define your life, is it about money and work? A mortgage and cars and entrapment and if you're happy doing that continue doing that is it about trying to live rather than existing is it trying to create happiness is it trying to create just create your life on your own terms reading or writing poetry gazing out the window laying in work less live more could you work three days a week? You know, a lot of people, if they was to downsize and get rid of their nice car and buy a cheaper one and buy only second-hand furniture and do a lot more home baking and things like that, you would find that they could work three days a week and have a very good quality of life. Four days off per week. Four days off. Yeah. You don't need to work. You think you need to work like you do. My nephew, if he had a just a little one bed flat, which is all he requires, um, very, very cheap, he could work three days a week and clean his car for four days, or work three days a week, get rid of his car, and just buy a cheap one. And then it doesn't really matter who cleans it, not really. 
You know, that's only one scenario in life, isn't it? But I see a lot of people around me that are stressed. A lot of people that are unhappy. A lot of people that don't even know whether they're stressed or unhappy. They get up, go to work, come home, shower, food, bed, and do it all over again the next day. And if that's right for some, then it's right for some. If it's not right for some, then it's not right for some. As I say, for me, it's um, I like a quality of life. I like a bit of peace. So yeah, it's worth asking a few questions, maybe. Yeah, beautiful Slurpee. Beautiful day. And I've got the time to enjoy this day. Not a lot of money, but loads of time. It's all a payoff, isn't it? It really is a payoff. Think about it. Take care. Be well. Be glorious as well.